Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to be a little more efficient. You guys know how I am about efficiency. Using keyboard shortcuts in the DAX editor in Power BI Desktop. But you gotta stay tuned all the way to the end because I found a little bitty nugget that I didn't even know existed. It's not even documented, all right? Stay tuned. Instead of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so the DAX editor, I know, right? It's a little confined space, but you definitely can make it larger. So if I click the drop down arrow, you can see I have lots of space. But how do I use all this space, right? So if you wanna type stuff on all the lines or you have multiple lines, all you need to do, if you hit hold down shift and press enter, you can see how I can create lots of lines. Now I have space to do everything I need to do. So I need this, I'm gonna add some variables to my code um, and it's really easy. So now I'm gonna add a couple of variables here. Variable one equals one, press the down arrow, variable two equals two, and then I'm gonna return, All right? I don't need this line for now, okay? So now I've just control enter, I can move, you know, add, add um, new lines to it. If I wanted to add a line right above this one, it's not that, uh, not that, not that difficult, right? You hold down Control Shift Enter, and now I have a new line directly above it. If you wanted to write some code right there, so um, Control Enter and Control Shift Enter, they'll add new lines to to your code. Okay. Let's say I just wanted to move a line up. I just wanted to move this line up. Just move variable two above variable one. Not 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 that difficult. If you hold down Alt and press the up arrow, it moves it up. You saw that? Bar two went up. If I hold down the down arrow, it'll move it down. So I can switch them just like that, holding alt and moving my arrows um, up and down. So let's say, let's say I like the code var two equals two and I wanna use it and I wanna, I'm gonna you know, reuse it instead of typing it all over. You guys know I am, I'm not lazy, I'm just really efficient. I wanna copy that line down or up, right? If I hold down shift and alt, and press down, notice how it co copies it. If I press up, it'll copy it again, right? So control, shift and alt and the arrows will copy that line in whichever direction you press. I don't need both of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete, delete this one. Let's go ahead and delete that one, right? And I'm gonna change the name of this one to three and change the value, all right? So now I have all this and I realize I don't need any of this, right? I wanna comment these out. It's really easy, what you could do, right? You can just put the slashes in front of each one and do it for each four line, each each of the four lines, but that's not efficient. What you can do is if you hold down Alt and you click each line, it's gonna add a cursor on each one. Look at that. So I'm adding a cursor, and then I can comment all three in one swoop, just like that. Alt and click on each line. All right, I'm so excited by this, all right? So the next thing is something that we like to do a lot is let's say I wanna make sure I'm out of the context of filter and I wanna jump to the to the end of the that parentheses. I know the DAX editor does a good job of highlighting it, but there's a cool shortcut um, that's available if you want to, if you wanna jump to the matching one. I wanna show you this. If you hold down Control and Shift um, and press the forward slash, it'll bring you, see how it changed the context? to the end, right? To the close parentheses. So I go to my open and I wanna to go to my close. <sighs> These things are great. Another thing I like to do is indentations, right? I like, let's say I wanna indent, right? So Marco has this saying, it's not DAX unless it's well formatted. And so the, the these this shortcut will help you do your indentions and things like that. And so if you hold down control and you press the close bracket, it indents it, you can see. And if I press the open bracket, It'll bring it back just like that. Whew, this is nice. Let's say, let's do this, right? This is a really cool one. Let's say I need to, I change my um, calendar name or I'm anticipating changing it and I wanna highlight all of them and change them all at once. If I press Control, Shift, and L, it highlights them all. And look at there, I can start typing. Ooh, that was a mistake. I need to go back to calendar. Right, but Control Shift and L will select all the occurrences of the current selection, and I can change them all at once. Right, so these shortcuts, I know you're saying, "Wow, that's a lot to remember." There's a great page that shows you all these shortcuts. I'll show you in a little bit how to get to that page, but they help you write DAX a little more efficiently instead of you know changing everything. It's kind of like a refactoring. All right, there's a few more shortcuts. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I want to show you my favorite one. My favorite keyboard shortcut um, is if you hold down Control. 
if you have a scrolly wheel on your mouse like that one click within the dax editor and you scroll in you'll see how my text gets bigger if i scroll out the text gets smaller okay and i know what you're thinking patrick i don't have a scrolly wheel on my mouse that's okay if you hold down control press plus it increases the font size and if you press minus it decreases the font size i'm sorry control and go wait huh wait a minute adam hang on i see something huh oh we dang all right damn i didn't know that so one more, one more. I had my favorite one, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I was, this was one that I stumbled upon. I didn't even see it in the, the list here. Um, and so I know I showed you my favorite one, but I gotta show you this one. If you select, let's say I wanna comment out multiple lines. If you hold down control and press the question mark, bam, it comments out multiple lines. I couldn't resist showing you this. It was an accident. I found this one while I was trying to do something else. This is bananas. Okay. So one more thing, one more thing, right? This is bananas, I found it, I couldn't believe it. But there's one more thing. If you keep your line selected that you commented out and press control and press control question mark, it uncomments it. Bam, bananas, right? This is crazy. So let me show you how to get to the page that lists all the shortcuts, the web page, right? If you hold down shift and press question mark, it'll open up the key keyboard shortcuts window and then you'll see lots of available shortcuts built in. If you click on see more, see more keyboard shortcuts and accessibility features, it'll open up the web page that shows you all the accessibility features and keyboard shortcuts. All right, it's pretty cool. We found something out in the video. Okay, what do you guys think? You got any questions, comments? You know what to do. Post it in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button if you like my video. Big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. That was crazy.